Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Enchantment Championships of 2017. My name is Sly Slime, I'm here to present to you the first of our quarter-final matches. This is Group C winners Indecisive taking on Group B second place contestants, the Creator Team. Indecisive is a four-person team, the Creator Team is a three-person team, but they have had one player not show up for this team. We're going to play four versus two. For the quarterfinals, we're moving on to some more complex arenas, and this one is taking place on the Nether Invasion one. We're joining in the action in round two. Both of the players on the creator team have lost a heart and so has Wislox on the indecisive team. And the chests this far have been brewing and now witches and cave spiders and they're being spawned in by the creator team. And indecisive now need to deal with the witches right outside of the spawn gate. This is a problem for them because they don't have many weapons or any other equipment yet. This is very early on in the game, round three only. One of them has managed to escape, it's two of them, three of them now escaped off to the side here. Which is still around though, they've still gotta be pretty careful as they go for the loot chest for this round which contains shulkers and endermites. Next round, round 4, now the creator team needs to deal with their own witches. Bodhi manages to escape right away off the bat and Urk is now stuck inside of the spawn zone. They have plenty of spawn safety but this witch can prove pretty difficult to deal with. It's right, right outside. He's trying to run but gets hit by a poison potion. His heart's ticking away slowly. He has to run into the arena now, the witch is in the way. And he is taking on so much damage and now he's just ran into the grasp of the second which takes another piece of damage. His hearts keep ticking away as he pillars up. He has gone down all the way down to a single half heart as we switch over into round 5. Round 6, some of those shulkers have been used in the other arena and William has gotten hit by it. He's floating up along the arena wall. Trying to put down some cobblestone blocks to have something to land on, but he keeps getting hit by shulker bullets. One more and he's down. GG William, first to go in this quarterfinal from a shulker blast. Later on in round 6, we're now watching the other arena where the creator team are now spawning in a whole bunch of mobs from a platform. Mobs are falling down, taking a little bit of damage, but that's okay. They've still got plenty of health left, ready to attack indecisive. The spiders dancing in anticipation of a team coming to join them in this arena. Spider stopped dancing and started climbing up the wall. That's probably good for Team Indecisive who join in there. They now have Endermite and Zombie Pigment to deal with. The spider up the wall and the witches are still around in this arena. Endermite is now sort of hidden behind that block and Zedri takes a knock from one when he rushes out into the arena. And now one of the witches has joined in and is throwing in potions. Vislox gets hit by one. He has the spawn protection to protect him from the actual damage, but he's gonna be stuck inside of spawn for a long time. He's fighting this witch to try to get through and get out into the arena. His two teammates are now fighting the other witch. They've lit it on fire, which doesn't help because it's down a fire resistance potion. And they're trying to make some headway into here, but it's following one of them. He rushes back towards spawn to light the other one on fire, trying to help a poor Vislox who's completely stuck inside of that spawn area still. Bine is climbing up, gets hit by a poison potion as well. Now his hearts are ticking away, ticking down all of the way to zero if it doesn't run out before then, but he gets hit by a second poison potion, so that is unlikely. Vislox is still stuck and now the spawn safety is running out. The world board is gonna come in. Now he has to go into the arena, he rushes forwards and deals with that witch excellently without taking any further damage. Really well done by him. 
Moving on to round 8, that Shulker is still causing problems inside of that other arena. Vislox takes a hit from that, moves over so that he has the water to block his fall or even to get up on top of that hill, takes another Shulker bullet though and keeps floating up. He's losing health significantly from this, trying to create some form of ceiling to prevent going further, trying to knock down the other Shulker bullets, takes another hit though and he got heavily damaged by that. We're still in round 8, the Shulker bullets are chasing the team down, Zedri is now in the nether part of the arena, and still gets hit by one of the bullets, now he's floating up and trying to cover up and land on top of the netherrack. That works fine for him at the end. Let's move on to the other arena where the team are climbing up to get the loot chest. Eric is trying to jump past Bodhi, the collision is in effect though, he gets knocked down a hole, lands just a few blocks below but he had only half a heart, GG Eric, and now the creator team is down to only Bodhi. We're still in round 8, Bodhi is now making his way back over towards the overworld part of the arena. He's traversing the nether part but falls off a ledge, falls a massive distance, takes most of his life away. And now the creator team is very, very damaged. Let's take a look at the other arena where Zedra is now climbing up a wall and Vislox is on top of that. There is still that Shulker though. He takes a bullet and starts floating up and now there's no way to place blocks. He is above the build limit. There's nothing he can do about it. Time is ticking, switch is coming, he falls down though, takes the fall damage before the spawn safety for the next round can kick in, very unfortunate for him. Moving on to round 9, an indecisive and now built a box around spawn, they have some dispensers in there, that are likely to put some form of spawn eggs in there, Vizlox jumps down, takes another little piece of fall damage, but now he's down so low that he can't afford that kind of stuff. Gets back on top of the thing, is trying to set up, we still have a witch around, we're not caring about that at the moment, uh, preparing their spawn trap. And let's skip ahead to the end of the round, the spawn trap is now set, they're just waiting for the switchover to put down some redstone, start this clock, and here we go, lots of mobs spawning in, we have the poisonous spider, we have zombie pigman, we have shulkers there, Bodhi wastes no time, starts putting down TNT, the redstone lights one on fire, they all go off at one, one massive blast takes care of that entire spawn trap, very nicely done. He just needs to mop up the rest of those shulkers, he does so, a couple of shulker bullets left to deal with, no big deal there. And he has made it fine into the arena with lots of time to spare from the spawn safety which is kicking in there. We'll skip over to the end of the round, we've had skeletons in the chest for this round, Bodhi has made a little bit of a hidey hole for himself and then spawns a bunch of them in. They start burning but move over to the water, so now indecisive need to deal with some skeletons shooting arrows at them and they only have 30 seconds of spawn safety at this point. They're sort of moving off to the side, creating a little bit of a barrier for themselves and exiting into the arena that way. No big deal, but the skeletons are still around, at least the ones that didn't burn fully. Indecisive made it into the arena anyway, they can go for this round's chest, which contains bows and arrows, very useful for dealing with those mobs. Another part of the arena, later in round 11, we're watching Wizlox move across. He's digging directly down, takes another fall, another half heart of fall damage though, they cannot afford to waste more health this way. End of the round, they are now building up another box round spawn, not a full box this time, but some form of dispenser trap with lava. He's supposed to stand on that pressure plate until the switchover happens, tests it out though and now he has to move back onto it to remove the lava again and he's messing around with that a little too long so the trap fails. Only one lava block still remains and that gets cleared by the switchover and that means Bodhi can now easily take care of the skeletons. There's at least one shulker around still but that's no problem for him. The Shulkers in the other arena as well though, 
Indecisive take care of that easily, but there is a shulker bullet still around. It's flying out into the arena, chasing Cedra, who is moving on into the arena and hasn't noticed it coming for him. Gets hit, takes the last of his health away. GG Zedre and we are now down to two players versus one with only a single heart of health on either team. Split between the two players on Indecisive and only on Bodhi on the creator team. At this point this can go whichever way. End of round 12 we're watching Indecisive put up some form of barrier and spawn trap. Spawn in illagers from this round's chest. And now Bodhi needs to make his way out of there. He's put down TNT and some lava, but he hasn't managed to actually ignite the TNT and the magic is coming in. The spikes are coming up from that evoker and he really has to exit now. This round only has 30 seconds of spawn safety. Has to remove some of the lava again, place down some water to get out of here. There are so many mobs around though, there's vexes around. They are also already floating around. He gets stuck inside of the wall doesn't really have anywhere to go, builds up some magma blocks but Vexus can face through walls and he gets hit. That is the last of his health, GG Bodhi and congratulations to Indecisive moving on to the semi-finals.